tax reform. New reports today. House Republicans are thinking about not giving a tax cut to people earning more than a million dollars. Governor Norquist doesn't like that. He's here and he says this is one of the top 20 dumbest things he's ever heard. <laughs> here to explain. Americans for tax reform. Governor Norquist. Uh, Grover, good to see you. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm not surprised you think it's pretty dumb. I think it's pretty dumb too. But explain to the viewer exactly why it is one of the dumbest 20 things you've ever heard in your life. Well, the Democrats are criticizing President Trump and the Republicans tax reduction, tax reform proposals. They say it's just for rich people. Now, this is a plan that doubles the standard deduction for everybody from $12,000 not being taxed to $24,000 mm -hmm. for a married couple. Okay, this is some one that cuts taxes for 30 million small businesses, um, that cuts tax rates for everybody, takes the 10% rate down to zero. So this is uh, designed to help all Americans. However, the Democrats, in their playbook, when somebody says, how about cutting taxes, whether it's in Tennessee or Massachusetts or the national government, they yell, just for the rich. So some Republicans evidently are going, well, if we didn't drop the top rate, um, but we cut all the other rates, then we could say, see, look, and then the Democrats are going, political. oh, you're right. Um, Yes, it is just political, and it won't work because the Democrats know all of the middle-class tax cuts in the bill, and they're just lying. And so it's not like if you said, well, look at this, mm -hmm. they would go, oh, good point. I hadn't read yeah. that. They have well, read it. it. It may not work, uh, but they're doing it for political gain. And uh, unfortunately, it, it sounds as though there's some real interest in it. Here's the president. Watch. So when... Paul mentions maybe one more category, which I'd rather not have. It may not happen. But the only reason I would have, and he does say this, he's very plain on what he said, is if for any reason I feel the middle class is not being properly taken care of. So that's a big factor. All right. So uh, he wants to take care of the middle class. He's looking at doing this. Uh, Grover, it seems to me that if you want to tax people for being successful, you're trying to discourage success effectively. And that's the last thing that we ought to be doing at a time like this, when we need people to be aspirational and try and be as successful as we can uh, as a nation. Yeah. Look, higher marginal tax rates on labor discourage people from working. Mm -hmm. On capital, discourage people from investing. Mm -hmm. Why in the world would you want to discourage more work, more investment in the United States at any level? Uh, we, because we you want to placate Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren? Right. Okay, but I think we should be more concerned about the millions of Americans who couldn't get a job during the Obama administration. This tax bill is a jobs bill. It's about getting jobs and pay increases for people who haven't been working at all or have been working at low pay to, to improve their yeah. situation. To say, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a photo op over here that mm -hmm. makes me look good. Your brother won't get a job for an additional year or two, but mm -hmm. photo op. But we can say, oh, well, we're taxing the rich. We're sticking it to the rich. Right. We're sticking it to the wealthy. And that's yeah. politically savvy. Anyway, uh, hopefully it doesn't go anywhere, Grover, because I do think it's pretty anti-American to say we're going to, the more successful you are, the more we're going to tax you. But uh, I have mm -hmm. to leave it there. Grover Norquist, thank you so much.